Definitely holds a special place in your heart. Yeah, I'm a massive fan of King's Casino. Uh, fantastic casino, and uh, I've been very lucky there over the last year or so. So. Bryn with Ace-9 on the button. Ready standing. They're close in chips. So he has elected just to peel, which I think is a smarter option. You also allow Leon sometimes to come in from the big blind with King-5 off, but uh, with the hat on, the King's Casino hat, the shades, it's pretty even, intimidating. Yeah, even, uh, wow, what a flop this is for Aldo. Ace-9 gives top Bryn, can he top two pair? Ace of clubs for Bryn as well. Timothy with the flush draw, yeah, yep. Very valid point that Bryn does have for the backdoor club draw. Fortunately uh, for Timothy at this point, it's ace high and not nine high with flush draw. Because Timothy might. He's not going to have a lot of hands that want to check raise for value, so he can't have that many bluffs. Obviously, you want to remain balanced against these tough opponents. And obviously, with king high, you know, you are just dominating lower flush draws and stuff just now, anyway, so you don't need to raise them off. And bingo! <laughs> <laughs> well, a huge car there. We see Timothy does improve to the flush, but Bryn. Not out of it yet, top two, and now the nut flush draw himself. All right, is it a card Timothy should be bluffing at a fair frequency here with the lead? Um, not really, I think, because it's not, when he check calls flop, he's not going to have a super high amount of card, uh, hands that want to bluff. I mean, he could possibly have like King Jack with the King of Clubs or something that's going to float to a small flop bit, but overall his range is going to want to do a lot of checking. So, in order, like if he has Ace 10 of Diamonds here, he doesn't want to put any chips in. So he's going to check that hand, so you want to check your strong hands in order to... Yeah, I mean, I think realistically it's um, really tough to build a check-raise bluff range here. So as a result, you have to you have to check call like with a very high frequency. And cool, he does. So 570 in the pot, heading the, to the river. See what the, the river is. Wow! Oh, my God. <laughs> this, is like, this is like the scene around us. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> this is... I mean, poor Timothy. So Bryn improves to full house. I wonder what Bryn does here if he just, he might just like, I mean, this is this is a card that's uh, it's going to favor Timothy slightly more because Bryn's not going to be betting his like middle pairs so often as so Timothy can have like. He bets 420,000. And Timothy's going to be all in here, I'd imagine, unless there's some kind of ICM considerations. Uh, maybe just call. He does yeah. just call, losing the absolute minimum with that hand. It's a very good just call. I mean, I think... Icky spot, is it not? Yeah. Um, I think this is a good candidate to use the three-wet fold. Um, I think you're almost close enough. Wow. 